pie. It's half four, it's the 21st of March uh, 2021, and the time is ticking uh, really quickly. Um, I've had a, uh, I've been up here all day, I came up at like seven this morning, or I don't know, maybe it was later, half seven perhaps. That's how the light I remember, it was quite a long time ago. Anyway, but I've been here all day, and I've been messing about with my um, media beds, and I've been, and the floating raft beds, and just sorting them out, I've because I've ordered these new boards, uh, to go in the spaces, I want to put another well, three, four in here perhaps. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, perhaps seven in the other one um, to fill these two up. And then I'm going to work out what I'm going to do with the other one afterwards. I've got all my, um, I've got a rack full of all my vegetable, well, uh, my tomatoes, beans and peas, um, more tomatoes down there uh, and more peas and beans down there um, there's also peppers in there as well um, and then I've got tomatoes knocking about all over the place I've got more coming up of different things and there's all sorts knocking around um, there's kohlrabi in here um, as you saw me plant them up the other day um, and there's uh, a load of celery as well which I've got floating on the boards there um, I've got my cuttings in over here, um, and everything's growing. Well, some of those cuttings I think are dead. I think the frost might have got them with the cold weather. Um, I've been fishing today, and I took out a load of the <coughs> white cloud minnow. So there's a little group that were in this one, and they've been in here for a while. There you can see. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's one there. Um, there's still a little group in this one. The goldfish are in the other pond. There's a couple in the bathtub over there. Next one's a worm bin. And then there are some up in the top bathtub, um, sorry, the top floating raft bed as well. There's a couple of gold ones um, and a couple of uh, ordinary colored ones as well. I just want to try and breed a few more in these um, floating raft beds. And, and I might get some uh, fish tank plants as well and put them in because there's nothing else in here. It's just catching the drips at the minute. Um, I was just going to bring you over to the uh, oops, what is this about? I was going to bring you over to the worm bin. <clears throat> I came in today and I put oops, loads of slime out of the ponds in. Um, here we go. Just have a quick look. It's just loads of slime and all sorts of things. The worms are here. Look, there's there's a worm there. I can see. Oh, yeah, just drops them in. Um, there's loads of worms, and they're all munching on the slime, the algae, the um, all sorts of things that are in here. Bits of torn up newspaper, obviously, as well. Um, there's a top of a pineapple that I was going to try and grow it in a flower pot, but I, I, I think they must have kept them outside or something, and it, it's just got frosted and didn't work, so that's gone in here as well. I've just put everything in. Um, and as I said, I put a load of ripped up newspaper on top just to uh, keep them nice and moist and that. Um, just got to pull that back out there. Look. That's supposed to fit in like that. Oh, can you see? See, I, I hang this over the edge. Just, just pointing my arm. Hang it over the edge like that. And then it catches the drip. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm nothing about it. It's not. It's not even catching the bit. I can get it to come over here a bit more. Oh, there we go. There we are now. Okay, it's catching the drip. You see, in the gutter, which will run into the other bit and drip in there, instead of flooding the place, instead of losing bits of water as well. At least I'm catching it. It's going back in the system. <laughs> the um, I've planted some of the the uh, media beds, and there's melons and cucumbers, kohlrabi, uh, tomatoes, um, and I'm going to just have a go. I'm, I'm I'm they're not even really up and running yet, but I've just jammed the tap in there. I'm going to just see this one does initiate, and it's just dribbling, trickling at the minute. The next one over is just a um, 
it's, it's just dripping and the drip catches in the gutter and the gutter goes back into the system. You can see there the water coming out from that other one. This one here, again, it's just, it's actually just dripping into this gutter and this gutter, which way the gutter's running, the gutter runs back into that bathtub, which is dripping out the end there and it gets caught by the, um, it's caught by the gutter that's underneath, which drips back into there. Um, this next one, I didn't. I only had one bit of gutter left, so I, so I can drag that out a bit. There we go. And at least that's okay. I get a bit more sun. Right now, this one again. I planted melons, tomatoes. There's a couple of pipes coming in off that other side. Um, as I say, tomatoes and melons. Um, there's a pepper, there's a little bit of kohlrabi again, um, but yeah, I've just planted some bits and pieces in, and then over here, I'm going to take you over, I've just got to jump over these things because it's like a big giant game of mousetrap. In here I've planted two tomato plants, um, but I've only just fitted this one up this afternoon, and the, um, the bell siphon works as well and it initiates and it's actually just going i think at the minute that one's going as well look that one's got lots of water. no it's just finishing going i don't know look, there's a lot of water coming out so they are going and they are working they're automatic bell siphons um if you watch rob bob's backyard aquatics in uh, he's an australian boat brilliant um i kind of adapted his idea uh, and made it out of bathtubs instead but thanks mate for this it's, it's good i really like your channel so uh mine's a bit crap but i'm just getting the hang of it all um so yeah i've just got my bell siphons to initiate in three of the beds four of the beds and the rest of it looks like the game of mouse chat crap but there we are anyway uh in this one at the end here as well i've got two pipes going in uh, because I have, I don't know, I just had one too many going in because it was going to go across the ceiling to do a different system, but now I'm going to do it differently. So in here I've got a couple of tomatoes, I've got um, some more melons, they're either cantaloupe or watermelons, and uh, tomato again. So yeah, I'm just, I'm quite excited about planting everything up and getting everything growing in, in the system and all that sort of thing. Um, I've got a, a tomato, I'm sorry, I've got a strawberry plant in each of the pipes there and in that one because they're all the ones that actually work. So, um, I haven't got one in this one because I can't fit it in because it's too small a pipe. But um, it kind of works sometimes, this one. The other one drips. I've still got those, that one in the middle to do. And I've got to change the worm bin back into a, uh, a media bed and swap it for one of the ones over there. I'm going to swap it for the one, um, there's two at the back that are up high, uh, which are going to be the other system. And I'm going to change one of them into the worm bin, I think, or put it outside. Um, but yes, that's what I'm going to do. Um, oh, there's a, there's a bell cycle initiated and it's just going off at the missing it. It's just running water. But I just wanted to show you, so there. The water in the bath has filled up to a certain point. It's gone up over the top of the standpipe inside the bell siphon, which causes a vacuum, which draws all of the water out in one go. It's just an automatic siphon. And, uh, and I learned this from watching YouTube, basically. And now I'm doing it myself. And uh, it's to do this aquaponic system and to grow leafy greens and salads and to grow <laughs> strawberries, grow whatever I want. Um, and then have a really healthy diet, obviously. Um, and I'll try and sell some as well. Um, but this was the whole idea all along, and now I'm doing it, so hope everyone's well. Nice one, cheers.